I'm back with another stream. I was thinking about doing like a 12 days of Christmas, but like 12 coins of Christmas, but I thought that would mean me having to make a stream every day until Christmas. I was like, fuck that. Why don't I just stick them all in one fucking video? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, CryptoFlog202. Uh, retweet my tweet if that's where you came from. Muchos gracias. Is the time of uh, the festive season is upon us. Subscribe if you want to chat, if you want to show me, if you want to call me a C U N T, go ahead, but I might ban you. Uh, disclaimer no financials. And uh, where, where is she? Don't you go running off, darling. Don't you bloody dare. She never would. She knows which, uh, which way her bread is buttered, if you know what I'm saying. She keeps coming back for more. Wife changing money. Uh, if you want some of the alpharist of alpharist gravy, uh, subscribe size available. All right, so let's do a quick price check before we get into it. Uh, market's a bit whatever, but we're going to beat the market by beating the hordes, the zombie masses. I got a nice lineup of projects coming up for you. Plus, uh, gonna talk about the. Uh, overhaul much needed of uh, squid game protocols now called squid game ultra one of the guys there uh, is constantly pestering me is like you gotta check it out and like it's it's much better so i was all right i'll check it out and it is much better price of one uh, btc as of the time making the stream just under 49k flattering to deceive uh, Ethereum has dropped slightly under 4,000 bucks, but we would have taken that 12 months ago. All right, let's dive into it. All right, this game is a, a game slash crypto project is coming out um, on Wednesday on Matic Network. Now, you may or may not have heard of it. Uh, it's called Geopoly. Uh, it's an NFT based economic simulator. Kind of gives me like a sim city vibes or the sims or whatever and i used to fucking love that shit so if you monetize that now you're talking my language plus it says join the world's largest capitalist metaverse and i despite making these videos for 120 bucks a month for youtube i'm very much a capitalist subscribe star um, so this, um, you can still get in on the pre-sale, um, if you're watching this live or, um, or watching the replay very soon after this went out, um, they're doing the pre-sale on December 13th or 14th on engine starter, NFT, pad, FI, pools, and CDFI. You will need to know your customer, etc., etc. They have uh, a staggering amount of followers, almost 53,000 followers. And if you go into their socials, they are jam freaking packed. And the thing is as well, the way I basically understand it is they already had a game there ready and waiting. And they added in the crypto aspect of it further down the line and that's where it came in <laughs> i wrote some information down but i can't seem to find it but anyway in the meantime let's have a look at their website now this is fully docs team i think they're based out like south uh, America or something like that, Uruguay or Argentina or something. 
Uh, but this is the website geopoly.io. It's going to go live on SushiSwap, uh, the Matic version of SushiSwap, on December 15th. Um, henceforth, if you want to beat the masses, uh, give them a follow on uh, geopoly slash game. Join the social. Say, oi, CryptoFrog sent me. He's a legend. Uh, I hear you're having a pre sale. Um, so what is it? It's a geolocation economic simulator that allows you to rent and buy, upgrade and sell real life businesses all around the world. And right now it's only on mobile, but I think they're working on getting a desk desktop version out. It's on uh, Android and, um, iPhone. Fial. Um, you can take through a look through the uh, website. Now, this has been in the works uh, for a long time. As, as you can see, everything's ready to go. It's all fucking ready to go. So the game's there, and they're just uh, layering on layer 2, a.k.a. Matic, over the top to monetize it and to give us a token geo. It's not just uh, some project that's like, yeah, a game's going to be coming out. Just trust us and shit. Uh, plus, their advisors are um, Sebastian Bourget, the co-founder and COO of Sandbox. You may have heard of him. Uh, this dude is a Y Col leader in crypto gaming on LATAM and Spain, and eight hundred thousand on YouTube's. One day, Crypto Frog will have eight hundred thousand. One day, uh, this guy Juan Weiner. And backed by CDFI, Trustpad, Pools, Engine Starter, blah, 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 all these dudes. Quite a lot of people backing them. That's not me, by the way. Off chain VCs, powered by Polygon, Techstack, AWS, Unity, proud member of Google Cloud, Blockchain, Game Alliance, seen in a bunch of places. Join us in their socials. Uh, if you want to check out the game for yourself, it's free to play. As far as I know, you can download it off the website or download it off one of your app stores and have a venture around. I think basically the premise is like initially they started out as like a traditional gaming company, but then the decision was made seeing the way the market was going. Let's incorporate crypto into it because, you know, we've got to move with the times. So it's not the other way around, like, we are a crypto project, now let's incorporate a game. They've done the difficult part first, now they're doing the easy part. Second, it's basically done. It's done. It's coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, actually, the Android one is out, but uh, the iOS one is coming out in the next coming weeks. And then... Uh, That blockchain version will be on desktop, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, geopoly underscore game. You can go to their telegram, geopoly underscore game, say hello. Uh, and be a capitalist while making money. Yes. All right, next one Meta Brands IO, gateway to the metaverse. Now, I was thinking like, Obviously, um, that, that Vulcan Unforged thing happened today, and I was uh, like a vulture. If you like, what is in this, that thing happened? Uh, some guy managed to make off with a bunch of tokens, and the uh, price damped. And I was wait, waiting there like a hawk, like a vulture, hoping to get in like super... But I just got impatient, just bought in for like 23 and 24 bucks. Current price is still 24 bucks. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I, I'm kind of like big on like metaverse things, but like there are quite a lot of like shitty metaverse uh, projects. So you got to be quite. Um, you know, picky and choosy. It can't be like the equivalent of like all sloppy drunk at like 3.30am 
in the nightclub and you're like, I'll just, I'll just take anything. I'll just take anything. You got to be how how you are when you walk in at like 10 p.m. And you're like, I could have any any woman in here if I wanted. <laughs> uh, and just be 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 selective. Go home with a nine or a ten. Don't go home with a three, just because you felt the urge to get your end away. So this is a website, metafratbrands.io. This is dropping on Thursday, December 16th. I have you know. The ticker, the token is uh, M-A-G-E, MAGE. So Metaverse Resource Now, facilitating instant exposure to top performing NFTs, play to earn models and player owned economies. Uh, you can have a scroll down here, uh, read about it. It's metabrands.io. Uh, they're partners. Lots of partners. I think everyone needs lots of partners. Doc's team, always good to see. Oh, oi, oi. Adrian Morrison has a mechaverse. Never going to make it, sir. Never going to make it. Well, at least it's not a puggy, pudgy penguins. That was a good laugh. I, that, that guy uh, who uh, dropped the bombshell or whatever. Who would have thought? Uh, Pudgy Penguins was a massive uh, just money grab. Who would have thought it? It's such a it's such a shocking uh, drop bombshell of news. But the guy uh, he spoke like Dustin out of Stranger Things, and uh, I was listening to the Spaces, and uh, I tweeted out listening to the Spaces sounds like uh, Dustin out of Strange Things in the. Uh, Turns out that guy followed me on Twitter. Because when I clicked on it, it said, follows you. And then as soon as I clicked on it, he no longer follows me. I didn't mean to say you actually look like Dustin, but your voice sounds like Dustin from... I mean, I'm sure, he, I'm sure if he walks in a club, chicks are all over him. Because he's famous. Uh, you can read the roadmap here they're gonna have bridges to binance smart chain and uh avalanche always good to have bridges going on be a multi-chain in this world read through all their uh, uh tokenomics let's have a look at the tokenomics shall we so there's going to be a hundred million of them and when it launches it's going to have a market cap of 948 mil Shit fully diluted value 15 mil and of course of course that's never going to be fully diluted for a long long time initial circulating supply 6.32 mil minus two percent liquidity plus 4.32 percent pre-sale unlock so uh when this comes out if you decide to purchase it just be aware that um some of these guys here in the seed private and ido um seed will have 15 percent unlocked private 18 percent 20 percent ido but then after that it's uh, smooth on sailing and then they're going to have liquidity mining they're going to have staking all that kind of shit then burning token burning will be introduced to the deflationary method to reduce total supply over a sustainable and healthy rate this helps to increase demand for the mage utility token while gradually increasing the barrier entry to mage ranks uh, 10 percent of monthly yield may be will be permanently burned at the beginning of every month sounds pretty fucking good to me let's have a look at the staking Anyway, they got staking mint NFT. I mean, this uh, project isn't out yet, so. So it's got the DAO aspect, it's got the play to earn and NFT aspect, it's got the asset management and it's got the utility. The to utility of the token is NFT minting, yield, payments, governance, utility, mining, whitelisting. Everyone loves a whitelist and discounts. Shit. And uh, Relic NFTs, uh, you get uh, Master, you get Yield Airdrops. Oracle gets Yield Airdrops plus 5% bonus and 
Arch Mange, 50 there Mange Yield Airdrops, plus 10% bonus, isn't it? Next, this one, uh, don't you go fucking doing that. Nest Arcade. This looks butter. This is on uh, Solana. The Nest Arcade. Give them a follow. 11,000 followers. The first NFT play to earn gaming arcade on Solana. Powered by the Feather Token. They're building something called Meta Birds as well. Um, look at this shit. They got like proper little squid game dudes. But they're like uh, nest ones. It's pretty gravy. Uh, what else was there? Oh, this guy's made a video. Never gonna make it. Crypto FOMO. Reckon I probably have more subscribers than that guy. Right, so this is the website, uh, nestarcade.io. Now, first thing I like about this website, it's like super clean, yo. Uh, introducing the future of blockchain. Now, a lot of thing, the thing about Solana is that it has its detractors and all that kind of shit. But really, at the end of the day, I think Solana is like the blockchain where uh, high graphic, high rendering uh, atmospheric graphics can be produced because of the uh, sheer speed of Solano is able to kind of keep up with it, etc. Uh, play, connect and earn and wager across hundreds of games all in one mobile app. All games are exclusive to play to earn and support multiple NFTs and characters. People are going to be lapping this up, lapping this up. Play hundreds of games in one place. Uh, games will be unique as well as derivatives from popular mini games. Nest makes it easy for developers to publish their own games to be hosted and seamlessly integrate play to earn. Introducing Feather, the Nest in games economy. Feather is an uh, SPL Solana token specific to the Solana ecosystem that can be traded on the Solana blockchain, just like Sol, aka if you go to Radium or whatever. It is both a Nest app currency and an independent store of value for players and investors. Lower transaction fees. Uh, using Feather for the majority of in-game and in-app transactions allows us to lower costs on transaction fees, keeping them at the lowest cost possible. Token value controlling Feather coin supply and availability. Th Feather tokens are set on an accelerated five-year lock and release schedule. This helps store the token's value and match demand as the app grows. Uh, you can read about the utility. Then they've got the NFT characters, accessories, blah, blah, blah. What makes it different? Ownership. Players own all in-game assets and purchases from characters, items, and more through NFTs. Game variety. Hundreds of games to play and earn on, making it the primary play-to-earn platform on the blockchain. Sounds gravy. Convenience. NFT gaming projects do not have a platform to easily launch and host their play-to-earn games. Nest is a perfect place to do so. Partners, Big Brain Holdings, Giga Brains. Then they got uh, their team all doxxed. Uh, this guy's from France. This guy appears to be from, uh, I don't know, America. This guy from somewhere. I don't know why I started talking about their nationalities. I, I don't give a shit. And uh, this is their thing. And then you can read all about their stuff there. And then this is like their side thing, which is, I think they're going to have a bunch of these NFTs coming out, but uh, this is like the uh, meta birds or whatever. Uh, you can collect them. Generation 1, 1600, uh, 0.33 sol. Uh, then presumably they'll have other generations. But the feather tokens, which will be uh, on this, uh, 150 million supply, earning game governance. Uh, NFT benefits, you get weekly rewards, beta access, a thousand phantom tokens, VRP group, free future NFTs. And they look pretty pretty good for a play to earn NFT. And this is the roadmap. Uh, plus they're relaunching and redoing the website. Gravy. 
uh, token IDO October to December. Now I think I was looking at this before the IDOs going on somewhere. Fucking juggling shit around. I spent like half my day looking at a uh, fucking vulture uh, Vulcan uh, P Y R looking for the best uh, entry on that in the end I got impatient and just aped in as per usual but I think I got a good price not many people can say they got in for like 23 bucks so thank you Mr. Hackerman now this one is changing it up a little bit now, I've been talking about this on my Twitter for quite a while. I mean, this to me is like such a no-brainer, right? So the building the cross-section between DeFi and banking, plus they're based in like uh, Hamburg, plus they're going for like a banking license in Germany that can be spread across the European Union, plus if there's a way that can bridge the gap between actual normies, and I'm not talking about normies on Binance, I'm talking actual normies, and bring them into the DeFi world, and then all of a sudden they can see like, holy shit, why am I leaving all my money in a, in a bank account when I could uh, be uh, pacering it up? Uh, this the team, they're all like super... Uh, big dudes and then this advisor Herman Nunabaya uh, he's got 35 years of experience in banking and then DeFi advisor and the thing is the pre-sale ends in two days 16 hours and 57 minutes so I mean what are you doing what are you doing uh, minimum investment is 100 bucks different wallets for different needs and the maximum is 10,000 bucks per wallet per wallet oi oi set up a bunch of wallets in it uh, apply for pre-sale now you may need to do a know your customer let's have a look at the thing so the ticket is going to be PCR I think they're going to do the TGE basically list on uh, Uniswap like uh, towards the end of December or very early January um, so it's going to have a max supply of 750 million TG, TGE supply 475k uh, private sale was 7% pre-sale 4% public sale 5% team 10% uh, vesting daily release to prevent dumps good uh, they got all that and then this is the very nice so quite a lot of emission in the first circuit. It's going to hit 300 million tokens by a year and a half. So, uh, but they will have staking. So maybe that's part part of the reason why. But the pre-sale, um, 30 million are available. Token price, four and a half cents. 12 months with a daily release. Hard cap, 1.3 mil. And uh, you're getting that for a whole cent less than the public sale. And then that, I don't, I don't, I, I have no idea what they're going to list, list it at. Could be like 10 cents. I mean, if they list it at 10 cents, oh, it must be higher than 10 cents. Because otherwise, if there's only going to be 475,000, if they listed at 10 cents, that would make the market cap at launch 47,500 bucks. I don't know whether they've done their calculations correctly on this, but uh, their miscalculations on that might be good for us. Unless they're planning on launch, putting it up for like starting price two bucks, in which I say, let's fucking go for it. Shit. Right, next one. Uh, another Solana game, Tribe Land. Tribe Land is an MMORPG, play to a metaverse. It's on Solana. You can give them a follow at tribe underscore land. Now, they have a, an IDO, as you can see here. Uh, 15th of December, which is uh, Wednesday. 
Uh, there we go. There we go. So they're going to have a hard cap of 1.9 mil, presumably to let the masses in because they have like 53,000 followers. Uh, all the information is on the website, tribe underscore land. I think they had one of those little charts. Look at, uh, here we go. I love the charts. All right, so IDO date. So the ticker is TRBL, IDO price one cent, initial cap th three million, pull cap 300 million. Vesting period, wow, they're gonna unlock all of them at TG, TG and KYC is not required for the burgers. Uh, connect your wallet, blah de blah. For the burgers. No, no, your customer for the burgers. Because that sometimes it's unfair. They always cut the burgers out. If you're like, what's a burger? Americans, because they love burgers. Oh, they had a really cool uh, cheat sheet. I like how many X's it would be to blah de blah. I love that shit. Uh, this website, imagine yourself running alongside gigantic creatures from the ages of primordial. Uh, you can watch the trailer there. Create your own unique character, train your own beast, etc, etc. Metaverse feature. Characters. Explore and conquer ancient metaverse. I'm not going to scroll through the whole thing, Jesus. Tribe land. Tribe land, there's desert land, meadow. Defend your territory from the monsters. There's dragon. Uh, hefty rewards in it, and uh, some other dragon coming in. And some resort build your resources. And team is all uh, boxed. Oi, oi. Dandy Rabby, April John Lacanelli, Jewel Robinson, Stam, Sam Strickland, Kate Harper, the team. Am I at the bottom here? Read the light paper. Oh, uh, this is what I was looking at before. I don't know whether this had the, uh, the I think this is the light paper. Oi, oh, can't. Mm. yeah so you can read the light paper it's all like super well laid out so uh blah, 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 blah. initial release 10 million token 380 million max supply team have 20 percent liquidity listing six percent marketing six percent oi oi throw a little the frogsters way jesus IDO 30%. Now, I'm not loving the fact that they're unlocking 100% of that right off the bat. That does seem a little bit of an oversight there. But whatever, let them dump. I'll pick up the cheap gravy. And so there are four types of assets. You've got your monetary assets, fungible SBL token. Uh, these include shell, inflationary, and TRBL, deflationary, territories, in-game resources, in-game items, blueprints, armor, weapons. Send it. Send it! Uh, so the TRBL is the governance token. Deflationary. I love the def deflationary gravy, especially if you can stake the deflationary gravy. Um... Tokenomics. What's the use case of TRB? It's just basically like a governance token. Anyway, check it out. That's pretty uh, good. That is called uh, Tribe Land. Tribe Land. Give them a follow. They got. Plenty of followers, 53.4K. 
isn't it? Now, I've talked about this one before. Now, I've been thinking quite a bit about this because uh, this is called a G J I Gen app. G Gen app. The first NFT gateway for fashion and luxury items in the metaverse and gaming ecosystem. Only has 10.8k followers. But I was thinking a little bit about like the Neo's credits. And if you kind of put the side by side on what these guys are doing, and I'm not slagging off Neo's credits, don't get me wrong. But when you go onto the website here, let's have a look. Um, they're like forming partnerships out their ass. Plus, they're going to have a safe launch.io. Oh, I love these. I love these moon sheets. Give me the moon sheets. All right. So it's going to launch at a $247,500 market cap. And it would have to 100x. And it would still be less than $25 million market cap. Are you having a laugh, sir? Initial market cap, 427700 Fuck. Public price, $0.09. Cents. 250x and it would still be less than 62 million bucks market cap holy fuck now look at this i mean this kind of rendering and nft metaverse kind of shit to me just looking at this it looks like unbelievably styling look at you look at these glasses you think people aren't going to go ape, ape shit to have their own like Rolex in their metaverse or their own like fucking, I don't know, Gucci sunglasses or something, Louis Vuitton bag and some uh, Nike Air Jordans or whatever they are. Of course they are. And uh, got the thing here. So what are use cases? Trade your NFT on any secondary market. Flex your NFT. Flex it. I mean, if you're flexing an NFT uh, watch in the metaverse, you are a bit of a loser. But there are plenty of losers out there. So target them. Uh, claim the physical version on your app. Shit. Cross-chain ecosystem. Avalanche. Polygon. BNB. ETH. Phantom. God dang right. Uh, backers, I noticed some uh, big boys here. X21, OIG, Synapse Network, uh, Magnus Capital, Fishdow, Ferra Capital. Pretty gravy. So the token is called Jig. I can't get over that moon sheet. So that would mean... Uh, for it to go up to a $610 million market cap. And that would probably keep, still wouldn't be in the top 200. That would be a 2,500x. Holy shit. Uh, so what does the token do? It's called Jig. Uh, give them a follow on Twitter. Uh, G I G. J I G E N app, uh, and you can join their Telegram. Say Crypto Frog sent me. They might throw me some marketing buns. Uh, exclusive access based on the amount of tokens held. Holders will get exclusive access and privileges within the platform. Oh yeah, kind of like a black card, a metaverse black card, baby. Shit, staking. Token holders will become eligible for our calculated rewards by staking. I love the passive income. And farming jig, helping to reduce circling supply and promote sustainable growth. I like it. I like it a lot. Governance jig holders will be able to vote for ecosystem initiatives. Give uh, Crypto Frog a Gucci jacket for the metaverse. Thanks very much. They will also take part in the creation process, voting for their favorite designs, artists and brands. Gucci. Uh, 60% of all fees collected from each NFT trade on the secondary market are used for jig buyback and burns. 
Oh, this just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better. Fuck. And plus, they only have 10% for the team. Shit! 5% for advisors, 16% for marketing and development. You know, I'm saying if anyone's from uh, Chigen Apps listening, uh, Treasury, 12%, public sale, 4%, seed sale, 6%, private sale, 22%, stake in rewards, 15% liquidity, 10%. This is their team, Young Bucks. It's best to invest in ideas. Invest in, invest in young men. What shall I say? Uh, people with male genitalia. Uh, with good ideas. Big ideas. Aiming to change the world. So yeah, big team. Crushing. Uh, so Q1 of... Uh, so the quarter four of 2021. Marketing campaign. Public launch and TGE. Alright, so the TGE is coming up. Keep your eyes on the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball. Uh, partnerships with NFT and gaming projects. Quarter one of uh, next year, 2022, or this year, if you're watching in 2022, staking integration, first exclusive NFT drop. Shit. Physical product claiming. Oh, sort me out with the Rolex, baby. No, I don't really like the Rolex. But I'll happily provide you with a list of uh, Gucci, Gucci uh, clothing. Uh, multi-chain integration and then Q2 cheek end governance corporate escrow platform integration of Flow and Solana just crushing absolutely crushing plus uh, it's just like ridiculous and I was looking at the um, medium as well it's uh, terribly exciting um, let's have a look here G, G again, the first NFT gateway for fashion luxury in the metaverse. and gate. So it's the first as well. Pleased to present its tokenomics to its community of lovers of blockchain technology and luxury items. Look at this Chad. He's having it large. He doesn't even need clothes. He's that much of a Chad. Uh, Jig token. Exclusive access. Blah, blah, blah fundraising all right uh, let's have a look at the fundraising seed round all right so seed can only they only get five percent of the tge rest linearly over a year private round seven and a half percent of tge rest over nine months public round but i mean looking at this moon sheet I don't care how much they're up. Looking at that mu that moon sheet, considering what kind of project this is, they're absolutely insane if they if they try dumping it. In my opinion, no financial advice. Roadmap, blah de blah, crushing. And this is more than like paper. I mean, the graphics are just like off the charts, yo. And people are going to be lapping this shit up. I mean. Right now, all you have, like, some dudes wandering around in, like, a t-shirt with some Japanese writing on it or whatever. And, like, a crappy cap. But if you can have, like, rare Nike Air Maxes and shit. I don't know how they get around the copyright on that. Maybe they have some deal. I don't know how it's going to work, but... Anyway, next... Glitter Finance, Glitter, Gary Glitter, no, uh, Glitter Finance has been created to solve DeFi's fragmentation and cross-bridge, uh, cross-chain bridge capital inefficiency problems, you can follow them, Glitter Finance, and all their uh, socials are in the pinned tweet, um, their team is like fully doxxed, and uh, they're based on Algorand, which I don't know whether you know, is actually um, in the top 20 market cap uh, cryptocurrencies. And uh, I think they... Actually, I downloaded the Algorand wallet 
on my phone and uh, sent some there. And you just have Algorand in your wallet and it just stakes for you. And there's no lockup or anything. Just automatically your balance goes up. It's butter. Uh, this is a website, uh, The One Bridge. Glitter is a brand changing innovative bridge that brings the everyday user into the crypto world, world seamlessly. So anything that helps like the masses in is going to crush. We smooth the way through current technical and psychological barriers by providing user-friendly streamlined architecture so that everyone in the world can feel good investing surfing the crypto wave. So the token is a XGLI uh, bridge launch with Algorand, Solana bridging on testnet, fiat integration. Oh shit, where's phase one gone? Private token sale, public sale. I think if you jump in the socials, I think uh, you may be able to get into either the private or public sale. Uh, product scaling, bridge launch on mainnet, Algorand, Solana on mainnet, Algorand, Terra Luna on mainnet. They're, they're going for like the new boys, the big up and comers. Algorand, Polygon on mainnet, machine learning models deployment, launch of single click yielding recommender system. Love it. Launch of mobile app for Android and iOS. Product expansion. Launch of cross-chain NFT bridging. Launch of cross-chain NFT swaps. Optimization of ML models even further. Adding gamification scenarios. Exploring auto-yielding learning smart contracts. And uh, you can see Algorand are actually one of their investors. So a top 20 market cap cryptocurrency is one of their investors slash partners. Polygon is also there. Uh, seems they got some smaller investors. But then they got the CEO, David Dorabratsky, uh, Mohamed Galisi, uh, Tatus Adenugba. Um, but then... How many people are fucking out? There's loads of them. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Just on their... That's just what they're showing in the news. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And then, where's the medium, isn't it? Where's the medium? Here we go. I love a bit of medium. I'll have a look in the chat in a minute. Uh, just some news on their investors. All right. Next one. Uh, now, someone gave me some shit about this one, but I reckon this is kind of the stuff that comes out of nowhere and just crushes. Uh, Dogeon. Dogeon. Dog on Avalanche. Dogeon is a gaming NFT project on Avalanche. It's our first dog race game, play to earn game, which makes it all worthwhile. Uh, give them a follow at dog, E O N underscore official. They've got 3,424 followers. Now, they are in the process of doing some kind of pre-sale. I was reading it before. This is like the game. It's kind of bad graphics because it's on, the, on Twitter. Launchpad token sales. All right, let's have a look here. All right, so this has a dev rating of 90 out of 100. Sounds good. Uh, to be announced. All right, so the launch date, to be announced, to be announced, to be announced. <laughs> to be announced. And plus the, the founder of Avalanche is like saying, who's a good dog, who's a good dog? And uh, they retweeted him. Seems rather odd, don't you think? This is a website. They got a game demo. So basically, they got their doggies, dog cards, lands, equipment. You can buy all that with the thing. Tokenomics, one billion don. Uh, seven percent seed sale, eight percent private sale, ten percent on TG, ten percent on TG. Then uh, three month cliff, and then 
locking over time. Public sale 1%, half of that on TG. Team 20%, 12 months lock, 10% monthly. Advisors, liquidity, game incentives, 10% marketing. Sort me out. 15% of first week, foundation reserve. All right, so let's have a look. Where are we at? All right, so Q4 2021, release marketplace fee 1.0, NFT sale, community growth, IDO. So the IDO is coming up shortly. Uh, you, you can find the website at dogeon.io. Uh, game release is coming before the end of the year. Then an updated game release first quarter of next year, improve the game UI, UX animation, marketplace optimization, Q2 of, of uh, 2022, another update, PVP system release, then another update, then an update, and then uh, Android, iOS, multi-chain NFT interoperability. Then they've got the team. As far as I can tell, these team are all from like uh, Vietnam. So maybe they're targeting like the Southeast Asian market. And we all know how that worked out for Axie Infinity. Isn't it? But yeah, I reckon people will go mad for that. And I've talked about this again, uh, Sidious, City of NFT Heroes. This uh, project doesn't need uh, too much more of an explanation. This is crushing hard. Uh, Galaxy underscore Sidious. Right, so let's get into uh, Squid Game uh, Ultra. So they've overhauled their their game. I I, I said to the, the dude... Not the dev, uh, the dude in the telegram. I was like, "Ah, oh, the way the game's going right now, it's just like, it, people are like playing, playing the system. It's not working. Like people are like buying, like the way it works, basically there's a timer and uh, the person, the last person who buys some tickets by using uh, Binance USD or BNB the last person like skip the pot, but it could be any, literally any amount. So a bunch of, uh, you knows, uh, kept buying like, uh, 10 cents worth. So the price action was just like boring as shit. Uh, so maybe they took on the, uh, advice of the frogster. I'm like, yeah, shit, we need to sort it out. So they've come back. They haven't rugged the old project. I I got so many, so much shit in my uh, other video because they assumed that I was talking about that other squid thing that uh, was like a honeypot or whatever. I was like, no, 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 no. These guys, they're going to come back with something better. They're going to crush it. They're like, all right, well, sorry. I was like, next time, do your bloody homework, you fucking, I'll give you a slap. I'll give you a slap in the chops. But as you can see, even though, right, let's check out this uh, this market cap on, on this uh, updated version. This is completely fair launch, by the way. Uh, so the prize pot right now is almost 20,000 Binance USD. And the market cap of the project is, it came out uh, the 11th of December, so on Saturday. It's pumped a little bit, but it's not like massively pumped. And the market cap's three hundred and five thousand bucks. But already they're having prize pots of like twenty thousand bucks. So imagine like uh, when this gets bigger. Now I think they've changed it in a way so. You can't just like be a tight motherfucker and uh, try and win the 20 grand pot by like buying like 10 cents worth of it. So it's com being completely overhauled. I'll be having a look in your chat in just a moment. Just uh, give me one moment. I asked the guy to tell me what's different because uh All right, so basically, there was the Squid Game protocol before. I made a stream on it uh, a few months ago. Uh, those guys haven't been left in the lurch. They can swap their tokens one-on-one -on -one for Squid Game Ultra tokens. 
then apparently the prize pot is split as you can see here uh, between first second and third place but everyone as long as you're in the game you get a kickback of that passive income in Binance USD then they've got this uh, gem game which they introduced yeah so swap your SG Pro for Squid Ultra one for one if you have uh, SG Pro then uh, Squid Ultra there are 814,000 of them burn your Squid Ultra for with our Squid Ultra 4x multiplier gems and tickets use 5.44 BUSD and add liquidity for 6x multiplier gems and tickets so they really brought on along the gamification aspect of this um, ultra benefits so this is different in so much as uh, you can earn the compounding BUSD a deflationary token with a fee on all buys 10% uh, tax fee uh, broken down 1.5% squid swap 1.5% NFT holders so now they have NFTs 3% team and operation 4% prize port and uh, now I was this guy was hitting me up from the project he's like you know I say it's great that you've like upgraded it and whatever but squid game it's kind of like uh, people have moved on isn't it but then I suppose have they really it's still like super popular and plus this isn't like an exact copy of the game anyway it's just borrowing squid game as a way plus when season two comes out everyone will go fucking nuts for it again anyway so if you transfer your ultra you will be punished apparently this is some of the notes that i got given because i asked him like what's different uh they've integrated the swap like i said community burn add liquidity you can burn the same amount of ultra collected from taxation and you'll receive four times more in gems and tickets which goes towards uh, your passive income stream from BUSD if you add liquidity using your BSD in pair with the ultra collected you'll receive six times more in gems and tickets multiple interface and games extended using inter interface protocol uh, the coffin bounty is an example I fuck, I to find out what the fuck that is Let's see what this is when i was doing the sg uh, protocol one uh, before these used to rack up like even i didn't even have that much but i was making like uh, 150 busd a day i wasn't even trying to win the game so fucking i'll take it uh so it's good that it's deflationary but i would like to see that they've taken out that aspect where People can't throw in like super small buys. All right, so there's there's bigger buys, but there are still some small buys. I don't know exactly what they're trying to do there. Whether that, I really uh, hope they've taken that out, unless it literally is people who just want to be in the game, in in the in the hope that they might win. I don't know, but check it out. Uh, Everyone was like, oh, why are you talking about uh, Squid Game Protocol? That looks like such a shit game uh, rug or whatever. And has it rugged? No. In fact, they've improved it. And you can swap your tokens one for one for the Ultra version. So all those haters can go and suck on a big fat juicy meat sausage. Tune Sai says, hey, Frog. Uh, hey, Tune Sai, Ledge. Luis Caveas, yo! Uh, US Caveas, motherfuckers fudding three dog like crazy. Well, I mean, fucking hell. Seen better days. Jack Obsklisk, froggy style mate, let's go! Barry Dalvin, sup frog, sup. Barry's a giga ledge, by the way. He's a subscribe star, subscribe star, ledge, giga ledge. Who is she, by the way? She is your make it girlfriend. Hi mate, says SK2. Uh, 
Daniel Jew, Squid Game Ultra is a gem right now. Low market cap, passive income generator, and prize pools. Soldier nodes. Yeah, oh god, I was looking at that like the other day. There's this guy I follow on to Joe in general. He's got a bunch of strong block nodes. I was looking at that and it's literally like a 30 cents or whatever. I was like, no, it's, it's, I lost my I, I lost my degenerate side. And now he's saying it's like three bucks or something. It's fucking fuck my life. Still very early. Thor nodes pass when path moon. Uh, path now. I think that is just getting over. I mean, everything's a bit like... Let's close some of these fucking things down. Uh, let's have a look at Path now. I mean, you got to remember, the market over the past, since it launched, hasn't been that great. It's 35 cents. I bought... Uh, I DCA'd in uh, some more when... Uh, after the TG, TGE t token generation event, DCA'd myself back in. So I think my average buy in on Path Dow is like 41 cents. But I'm staking it, so I don't really give a shit. I think it's more of a long term project. Uh, Lebster, let's check out Squid Ultra. Their last one went for over 200x. Lots of money made. What do you mean their last one went for over 200x? Yes, please talk about Squid Ultra. I did, sir. Looks very promising. Let's chat about Three Dogs' plan to turn the ship around. Looks pretty rad. Well, I mean, what what's the idea, sir? Uh, it's a fork of tomb on F, M, F, F, FTM. Thoughts on Spa and other on forks prices dropping below published backing amounts. It's very interesting, got to say. I think uh, the saturation point on many of these DAOs and uh, high yield return investment vehicles kind of reaching the point where only the only the only the best are going to survive just what I th just what I reckon don't be the last one holding the bag finish the semester with all B plus and A plus tune say how old are you sir uh, KYC necessary or anything over 10k still in path frog yes I'm staking it. Uh, Astro Life TV cut all ties to Squid Game Pro Ultra. They soft rug, launch new token, and we'll do again. That's your opinion, sir. Chris W, that's a complete lie. There is no soft rug. The original token is still going on right now and is much part of the project as new one. Are you still staking uh, three dog? Uh, obvious man. Sus. Don't do that Squid Game shit, pro. Are you in roll frog? Smaller buys won't do anything for culture. You've got to buy at least a, th a million for a gem to get into the game. Nice. That's more fucking like it. Are you in roll frog? I love how people think they can come into my chat and fucking call me a twat. Uh, poly roll. Never heard of it. Uh, it's on Matic. I don't want to open it because it might fuck up my... Because uh, I've got my MetaMask on Ethereum. And uh, for some reason, when I try... If it pops up and think my MetaMask is stuck, it's fucking annoying. I'll check it out, though. Thank you very much. Uh, the gem price, going back to Squid Game Pro, the... Gem price goes up as more buys come in. Being in since day one of Pro, they were always ideas for more and more things can be added to the Squid ecosystem. Yeah, I was in the uh, TG the other day, just browsing. I mean, I can't be bothered to write anything. Uh, and the dev was like, if we get to 10 million market cap, I'll add like yield farming, I'll add stake in, I'll add... Like, I'll, I just thought, why don't you just fucking add it now, bro? Uh, I said that wrong. You get the passive income with any amount, but for the gem game to win the pot, you need at least a million to start getting right. Pronounced buried alive, lol. I'm 20, frog, lol. You're 20? And you get a B plus and an A plus? What the fuck? I thought that was when you are like, fucking 10. Anyway, let's go through a run-through. Uh, 
Geopoly. That's coming out on Wednesday on Matic. Uh, but pre-sale is still going on for the next couple of days on Engine Starter, NFT, Bad, FI, Pool, CDFi. Uh, next one is coming out on Thursday. It's called Meta Brands, your gateway to the metaverse. They've done a bunch of Ask Me Anythings. You can listen to what they have to say. Lots of people viewing their profile. Oh, is it on the Gexter? Untracked, obviously. I like I like it when uh, they get previewed. That's they did the same thing for Path Down. I like it. I'll give them a fuck. Help them out with a star in it. Uh, Nest Arcade first NFT play to earn gaming arcade on Solana, powered by Feather Token. Looks butterino. And they got their little NFT section. Pacer protocol. God dang right. Bridging cross chain yield aggregation brick protocol for DeFi and banking. Bridging DeFi with TradFi. And plus, the pre sale is going on for the next two days, 16 hours and 17 minutes. If you bloody hurry up, but you have to do a KYC. Minimum amount is 10, 100 bucks, one Benji, or 10K. Uh. A hundred Benjis. Next one, Tribland, also on Solana. Check it out. Solana, Tribland, Jigen. I think maybe out of all of them, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's close to call, but probably uh, Jigen out of all of them. Just looking at this moon sheet gives me a shivers up my bones. Shit. Make sure you give him a follow, join their socials, and tell him Crypto Frog sent you because he's a fucking legend. And we're all going to make it. Imagine. Now, let's think about this. Let's put this in. Uh, let's put this in. Uh... Right, let's go on Gecko and go to like metaverse projects in it. Categories. All right, so uh, all right, holy fuck! Dude. So two hundred fifty x sixty two mil. It's called sixty two mil. That would put it less than Bosogara, and. Less than over and less than DeFi land and less than Boson protocol. But then, if it did, I mean, it's big if, but you got to dream the dream, isn't it? If you don't dream the dream, what's the point in living? Uh, so, six if it got up to 610 mil. That would be a two and a half thousand X fuck. Which would put it between UFO gaming and render token. God damn right. That would be beautiful. Imagine like Snoop Dogg and all those guys fucking and all those basketball players. They'd be loving this shit. Loving it. Loving it. Uh, next one. Uh, Glitter Finance on Algorand. Solve DeFi's fragmentation and cross bridge chain efficiency problems. Glitter Finance token uh, name is. Oh, there it is. Fucking website isn't the best user friendly experience. X G L Y. Uh, Dogon! I love the Dogon. Plus, it's on Avalanche, so uh, free, uh, not free, basically free and very fast uh, transactions. So, uh, perfect for that. Plus, it'll be the first um, the first dog race play to earn game. And definitely the first on Avalanche. Check it out. And Sidious is going to crush. And for all the haters, say what you want. I think um, 
they've done a pretty good job with uh, Squid Game Ultra. Because, god dang, did that need a good shaking up. Let's see if uh, the prize has gone up. I'll refresh it. I don't know. I don't know about the gems or whatever that means. But that is a solid stack prize pot. And uh, well, I'm one more, one more look at the chat. When Squid Ultra of you? I already fucking talked about it. I just talked about it. What are you talking about? Uh, too many DAOs popping up. Chunzai. That looks fire. Thanks for the alpha. No worries, bro. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. Uh, you can follow me, CryptoFrog202 on Twitter. But don't be an absolute twat. Otherwise, I will block your ass. Uh, subscribe. Uh, absolutely no financial advice was given in this video. And uh, thumbs up for the algo. Until we meet again. Merry fucking Christmas.